Hello from the A7 motorway near Malaga. We are still in the, in the beautiful Andalusia in uh, South Spain on Costa del Sol and we'll be driving today between uh, two of the most important cities in this region from Malaga to Granada, crossing a nice mountain range over Puerto de las Pedrizas at about 800 meters altitude. So stay tuned for a nice scenic motorway ride. Let's go! We start on the A7, the bypass of Malaga near the intersection with the AP46, a told uh, motorway alternative for our uh, route. Uh, Malaga is the capital of the Malaga province and the second most populous city in Andalusia after Seville, with a population of almost 600,000 inhabitants. Malaga's history spans for about uh, 2,800 years, making it one of the oldest inhabited uh, cities in the world, being founded about uh, 770 BC by the Phoenicians. From the 6th century BC, it was under the hegemony of ancient uh, Carthage and then uh, was ruled by the Roman Republic and then Roman Empire. After the fall of the empire and the end of the Visigothic rule, it was under the Islamic rule for about 800 years um, until 1487, when the crown of Castile gained the control over the area. The archaeological remnants from different periods are to be seen in the city, making the city center an open-air archaeological museum. The painter Pablo Picasso and the actor Antonio Banderas were born in Malaga. The old town uh, is very picturesque, being relatively big with many pedestrianized uh, streets and uh, many sites. Malaga is a gate to Costa del Sol with an international airport and connection to the Spanish high-speed railway network. Uh, from uh, Malaga, we are uh, driving on the A45 motorway and uh, almost immediately start to uh, climb to the Pedrizas uh, Pass. The motorway has mostly a speed limit of 100 uh, km per hour and an alignment that doesn't allow for high speeds, with many low radius curves. A uh, parallel tolled motorway was built with a much better alignment, the um, AP46, but it's very expensive. Um, it's still uh, much more comfortable to drive, so you can uh, choose between uh, these two routes. We decided to take uh, this time uh, the older A45, but um, I also filmed the AP46, um, so uh, stay tuned for, uh, for this uh, video too. We climbed some uh, 700 meters in altitude until the pass. From Puerto de las Pedrizas, we take the A92M motorway, a shortcut to the A92. We are driving at the foothills of Sierra Tejeda and have uh, great views around as the motorway climbs and descends uh, over the hills. After about 25 kilometers, we are joining the A92, a major east-west route uh, through Andalusia from Seville to Granada and further on to Almeria. After a fast uh, descent to Henil River, we are following it upstream to Granada. Enjoy the whole drive a lot, good quality roads with great landscape around and uh, moderate traffic. Now let's watch it uh, with some music and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you haven't done it uh, yet. Subscribe the channel and uh, hit the bell uh, button in order to receive a notification when uh, we share a new video from our road trips. I'll be back uh, near Granada to say a few words about this important tourist destination. Until then, as usual, just sit back, relax and enjoy the ride. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together it's so beautiful, you and me We meant to be in the great outdoors Forever free Back to see the truth of 
She's waiting for love to be realized I'll send her my heart covered as a gift And hope that she'll take it into her side Thank you.
Hello once again, this time uh, from the A92 motorway near Granada. Granada is the capital city of the province of Granada in the autonomous community of Andalusia, having a population of about 230,000 inhabitants. It is beautifully situated at the foothills of Sierra Nevada, the highest uh, mountain range in Spain, with the Mulhacen peak at almost 3,500 meters altitude, and also less than one hour away from the Mediterranean coast. A ski resort is, is situated in the mountains, about uh, 30 minutes away from the city. Granada became a very important uh, Moorish settlement during the 13th century, when it was the capital of the Emirate of Granada. The Moors uh, built uh, the Alhambra, a medieval uh, citadel and palace, one of the most uh, famous monuments of Islamic architecture, and also one of the most uh, visited tourist sites in Spain. Islamic architecture is also preserved in the Albaicin uh, neighborhood. The 16th uh, century also saw flourishing uh, Mudejar um, and Renaissance architecture, followed later by Baroque. All uh, this architectural mix and the great position of the city close to the high mountains and the seaside are making Granada a great place to visit. Uh, but make sure to, to book um, uh, your tickets for the Alhambra a few months before. We uh, wanted to buy them uh, just some days in advance and uh, there were no, no, no tickets uh, available. The problem is also that many tourist agencies are buying lots of tickets, uh, selling them for a very high, high price afterwards. That's why we uh, skip, uh, skipped uh, visiting Granada during this trip and just uh, drove by. But uh, we enjoyed a lot um, Andalusia and uh, will definitely come back uh, here and then uh, Granada will be very high on our list. Now I will end filming uh, the intersection between uh, the A92 and the Granada 43 motorways. Hope you enjoy the drive and stay tuned for more videos from our road trips from different regions that will be shared here on the channel. Bye bye and till the next time.